And as it becomes so common a cliche that every day you can while away hours reading about Boy George's latest hairstyle on how Marilyn puts his makeup on. Who cares? Yes. You can bet your life they'd all be in garbage bags if it would sell more records. The current crop of androgynous pop people aren't nearly as committed to the cause as my next guest, Jane County. <laughs> Seven years ago, Jane was plain Wayne, a chap with a mean stage act and a weird taste in frocks. Oh, I'm on TV again. Oh, my big hit, this earned me millions. Last night after I went to bed, uh, I got a demonic feeling in my head. So I did. And you know, something pulled my legs apart. And I felt it right up to my heart. Paranoia, paradise. It's sure gonna be the death of me. As Adam and Eve. Well, since then, there's been some changes. Wayne's gone out of the window because Jane decided to do something with his gender a little more than just bending it. I was so ugly then. That was horrid. This that accent for well, real? Well, I'm, so, I'm so gorgeous now, you know. <laughs> well, you do look a little different, Jane. Yes, I do. It cost me a lot of money, too. Oh, yes. What exactly are you now? Could we kind of be specific? Oh, what am I now? Yes. How well, would you categorise yourself? I don't know. If I really knew, I probably wouldn't be on this show, you know. I don't know, actually. How do I categorize myself? I don't, really. Kind of a bit of both? Uh, no, neither. Can, neither. You, <laughs> can you put me out of my misery? Oh, yes. Where's How the gun? did you get the boobs? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. Well, you can have them, too, if you have enough money, honey. <laughs> oh, I have a pair already. Well, I forget what her but name yours? is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she can hang yours up at night. I can't hang mine up. Now, Jane, isn't it a bit confusing? Fantastic. I mean, looking back, at, looking back at the film, those years ago, what about the boyfriends? What about them? I mean, are they, do, are they somewhat confused? Uh, uh, no, not actually. If they were, I'd certainly put them straight. Yeah? <laughs> what about these people from your past? From my past? Yeah, I mean, when you were Wayne. Uh, the thing is, I never leave my past behind. All, every boyfriend I've ever had since the age of 10, I still have. <laughs> Do never I... throw a man away. Always keep them. You never know when you can use them. <laughs> and how does the new Jane go down as opposed to the old Wayne? I mean, does uh, Jane appeal to a different class of man? That is a loaded question. I mean, <laughs> what, what kind of men does Jane appeal to? All men. They all adore me. I don't know why. And what about Wayne? Oh, Wayne. Do you ever find yourself doing Wayne things? Yes, I do. At the oddest moments, he, he pops out. Yeah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about your mum and dad? How what did they them? How did they react to Wayne's um, step in the other direction? Well, I just sort of told them I was like sort of the Danny Larue of rock and roll, and they just accepted that. You know, it's entertainment. You know, she can look any way she wants. But One day are... she's going to come home, get married, and have kids. Your mother accepts that you're a woman now. Or is she confused no, she too? <laughs> she's confused. She's still waiting for. She's still waiting for Jesus to come. <laughs> Jesus is out in the bar. He just bought me a glass of wine. The Guardian will pay you one million. But <laughs> really, the God Jane, can we just establish you are a woman now? Uh, You're not just like Boy George with a lot of makeup on. More makeup than Boy George wears? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, but Boy George just puts makeup on. Does Boy it, George so? is. Um, He's sweet. He puts on makeup. He, he's basically a guy. He says he's a guy, and he says, "Okay, I'm a guy. I put on makeup. I'm a little bizarre. I'm, I'm eccentric." But um, that's as far as it goes. I mean, he's very talented, you know. It, it seems to me you avoided that question a bit. I mean, have you have you actually changed yes, sex? Yes, I did. And why did you point it at it? <laughs> <laughs> have you actually changed sex? Have you had an operation, or you? Uh, well, I've had some operations. I won't tell you the gory details, but oh, the thing... Oh, go on! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You would love to know all about it, wouldn't you? I'd love it. Oh, yes. Well, are you in transit? Uh, yes, that's where the word comes from, transit. Tra in transit. Right. Now, what is... Now, Jane, what if you fall in love and you want to get married? What's oh. going to happen at the wedding? Oh, I fall in love every night. 
I'd hate to go through all those weddings. Would you like to get married? Would I like to get married? No, I never want to get married. Why should you get married? You have to give up so much. I want. I mean, I want. I don't want to give up anything. I want so much. I want too much to give up anything. I don't want to be terribly explicit, but I've, I have. Oh, here we go. They no, said you weren't going to ask this question uh, now. No, 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 no. What, what, what worries me? Just save, save, save the biology a bit. You what worry. worries me is, I mean, once you've taken this step and 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 actually had an operation, do you ever wake up in the small hours of the morning when we're all at our lowest and think you made a terrible mistake? All the time. Every night. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, no, actually, no, I don't. I, I, um, uh, I have a really proper scope in my mind of what I am and where I am and what I'm going to do. And as long as you can keep thinking about that, you never have time to really... You don't get horrible get doubts? Upset. Well, no, I don't get horrible doubts. When, when, when you're on a real downer and you're no, feeling miserable? No, no. I have too good a time to think about the bad ones, the bad things. Spike, uh, uh, would you, what do you think about Jane? I mean, did you prefer Do you his wine? Keep the seat up or down, is my question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even open it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got time anymore? It's such a busy world, you know. One thing I want to ask you. <laughs> tell you what's, tell you what's good about this age. It's a modern thing about this age that it somebody can do this, do this, and but make it public and without being arrested. About them. It's marvel. It's a no. It's an age of great liberalism. It is a great age of. It's it almost is. like the age of Pericles in, in Greece, mm. when liberalism came about, and somebody can do this and not be mm. put on. I think it's a good thing about society today. I'm pretty glad for you. Me too. Oh, well, yeah. thank you very much. I was told before I went on that you might have a go at me. Now, Jane... You're having it on. What a lie. Jane, you that well, you... That's what they told me. I was me. thinking of having it done myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, I'll show you how. Do it yourself. <laughs> Spark, if you did have it done, uh, what kind of woman would you like to be? Well, I'd, what I'd do, I'd get up in the morning and go out for a walk and see what happened, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... I... A lot. Jane's got a, a, a very flamboyant appearance. If you had a sex change, Spike, would you be a kind of mousy, retiring type? Oh, no, I'd go out and get it, man. Not having all that operation for nothing. That's yeah. true. You have an true. operation, go to the sink and peel potatoes. No, man. <laughs> you go out there and say, hey, daddy. Now we know what it's like to be a cross between John Wayne and Jane Mansfield. Thank you, Jane. nothing sacred these days when the few real men that still exist get no thanks for being macho heroes that we can lust after. The Family Planning Association have now turned on super stud James Bond. Apparently he isn't responsible enough for them. A spokesman said if he were a real person he would have had at least 50 children and probably be suffering from herpes. Here's a scene from the latest Bond <coughs> film. Darling. Oh, James. Come over here. Uh, no, thank you. I'm happy standing over here by the window. I've got something to give you. I know, that's why I'm happy standing over here by the window. <laughs> why are you avoiding me? Is there something wrong? No, no. Perhaps there's something I can clear up. Funny you should say that. <laughs> what was that? I didn't quite catch it. You most certainly did catch it. That's why I'm standing over here by the window. Oh, my God. Ah, Mr. Bond. What a pleasant surprise. Blowjob. <laughs> Blow fell. And no thank you, Mr. Bond. You surprise me. Coming here alone, isn't that a bit rash? You're a fine one to talk about rashes, Mr. Bond. Anyway, we're wasting time. Just have a look at these. My God, what are they? Paternity suits, Mr. Bond. I don't believe you. Pussy galore. Miss Money Penny. Odd job. <laughs> Odd job. The list goes on, Bond. Now, if you'd be so good as to follow me, an old friend is dying to see you. Doctor No? No, it's Dr. Patterson, and it's 10.30 in the clinic. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. You'll never play James Bond. What about you two sitting in there? I think you'd make quite good James Bond. Ah, help Sean Connery. <laughs> Buy a Granny Bond today. <laughs> How about you, Bron? Yeah, you could be I, the new Bond, I, I think. I'd, I'd volunteer for the part, but I expect the Secret Service to give me a packet of French letters or something to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jane? You've rather lost out on the chance, haven't you? No, who says that James Bond can't have boobs? You well, know. thank you for that, isn't it? Thank you all very much. Good night. I hope we haven't given you nightmares about the second coming of a sex change Tory wet. Now, good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>